Jai Gurudev. And Jai Gurudev. I welcome uh, Sheshadri Ayangar ji to this t t today on Let's Talk Bharat Natyam. And uh, uh, Sheshadri is uh, a mix of two worlds. He is a dancer as well as a doctor. So he treats people on the inside on two different levels. One on the uh, sukshma level of their uh, internal happiness and other on the ka on the sthula level, he even treats their body. So, Sheshadri ji, welcome. It's so wonderful to have you with us at Thank the you. Art of Living Academy of Performing Arts. Uh, please share something about yourself and your journey into Bharatnatyam and about your Bani of Bharatnatyam. Okay. I started learning dance uh, at the age of probably eight or nine. And uh, I was uh, in, like I was actually born in Calcutta, but uh, we kind of moved to Bangalore when I was probably two year old, and grew up in Bangalore in Maleshwaram. And uh, I started learning dance since at the age of eight. My first teacher was uh, from a school called Jaikalani Ketan. Her name was Vijayshri. After, I was there with her for almost two years, and then I moved on to Mr. Nakeshu Murthy, also in Maleshwaram on the Sampiga Road. I was with him for about two years. And then my mother was the main reason why I am into, you know, the dancing today. She wanted to be a dancer as a child. I mean, as a, like as a girl, she kind of grew up in Bombay, but then, uh, she could not for you know, some reasons. And then uh, so, but when she saw that the uh, spark in me that I was interested in dance, so she, she kind of 100% encouraged me into it. So she put me into various classes and she would you know, pick me up, drop me. She did all of that. So my third and uh, final destination of dance was uh, Srimati Padmini Ravi of the, of the Pradhan Dance Center that was here in Maleshwaram, 18th cross. So that is where I, I can say that I actually began my you know, journey in dance. We primarily follow the Walwur style, which is known for its uh, leaps and jumps and the freedom to explore the movements based on the individual personality of the dancer. What we do is we base the, the idea is to teach the vocabulary to the student, and from there let the student explore as to like what looks good on him or her, and how that person wants to adapt these adus or the you know like alphabets of dance into a movement vocabulary that suits that one can you know actually connect. So that that is the main. Um, uh, approach of my teaching today it's like telling i will teach you a to z alphabets i will teach you a few words and then how you use it how you speak what accent are you going to use is completely yours so that is how we kind of you know mold each uh, dancer so what what is important here is to bring out the individuality of the dancer, not to make, you know, clones of dancers, like, you know, you make each dancer unique. Each dancer has his or her voice to, to express the way he or she wants, using the body, using the mind, using Abhinaya, whatever it may be. So that that is the main, uh, you know, approach that I follow. And yeah, so, I've been teaching for almost, I would say, um, for, for almost 20 years now. And uh, I have gone through my own paths of, uh, you know, exploring movements. I've worked with various, you know, dance companies in the UK for almost eight years. And in Canada for almost three years. I keep going to the you know, US to teach workshops for about you know, 20 years now. Plus I you know, like also run a school here in Bangalore, in Maleshwaram. So this is my background into dance. 
thank you shishan for sharing that and uh, uh, especially the way uh, you said that what you want to teach is not uh, not uh, a choreography but for people to write their own essays in dance and become Absolutely. their own person that is such a beautiful thought of uh, uh, you wanting people to find their own artistic voice and yes. that's becoming a part of training right from day one i think that is something really wonderful and uh, uh, i have uh, from uh, i've gathered from my previous conversations with you that uh, you have had also success in another field in which many other dancers these days are struggling and that is teaching dance successfully online and the moment the world has shifted online because of the covid pandemic it's been a tough job for uh, dancers we have been scratching our head how should we do this and uh, when i spoke to you shared how you have had a very nice experience and in fact been able to connect with the students uh, to a far greater level in this time so if you can share something about that experience and how you felt and what did you do when you had to go online with the dance training yeah so uh yes i think it was uh, the third uh, third of the, the fourth week of march that i first started to teach teach like online uh so the first few classes was was a bit challenging because the, when it actually comes to dance the the timing is very important the the music and the movement have to go in sync but there was a lag you know because of the technology that we are using so initially it was actually bothering me but then later after the point what i found found interesting was i could focus on each of those you know windows there individually my attention would go to each window with with every passing second and then i could actually catch each and every child or you know each and every dancer there and what i found was the attention uh, or the you know focus of the you know dancer on me was also actually this was like actually i was teaching a one on one class it wasn't like a you know group class because for the child it is just she or he and me correct but for me i am seeing them all together but for the child it is like i am just looking at the child i don't know if that worked or which aspect of it worked but then i i could actually give you know better corrections and they were they were able to to understand things better and uh, the amount of uh, development or you know change that i found in their dancing uh, skills within the past uh, you know like in the past 3 months was far greater so i just i just also you know few other points that i would like to mention here is uh the the pressure on the child with regards to going to school dealing with lot of you know homework and so many so many so many other activities maybe that was that was also less and uh, none of the, the students in the past 3 months have actually missed the classes so i think all these have actually you know contributed because you are you are actually you know learning from home in the in the comfort of your own space and also feeling the connect with the teacher that you know the, that you are having a one on one session so i think all these things you know came together really beautifully so i could see amazing results in my you know student i could you know see them being much more interactive much more inquisitive in asking questions wanting to learn more and i could see uh, a lot of improvement within the past 3 months so it has been uh, you know good experimental phase but has been very successful that's really wonderful sheshadri and uh, Uh, we are very excited that uh, you are coming on board alap the art of living academy of performing arts with uh, wanting to start bharatnatyam online for all those connected with alap this is going to be a beautiful experience and uh, we are really looking forward to uh, having you with us 
and uh, gaining from all this uh, uh, deep research that you have done over uh, <laughs> uh, how to connect with students online. I'm calling it a research because right now everybody needs these mantras of how to connect online with their students. And from what you share, it's really beautiful. And I also believe that uh, children these days are uh, uh, far more tech savvy and connected <laughs> online than yes. maybe we ever were in our childhood. So maybe this is a boon, uh, just like they say boon and bane. So this is a boon for them in a way to be able to connect to their teachers online and continue Definitely. their training. Definitely. So yes. thank you so much, Sheshatriji. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Being here with us. Jai Gurudev.